it's AVO and today we are going to look at three ways to seal an envelope and three different difficulty levels. So first when you're melting wax beads which is what you see right now you need the spoon and a tea candle or some way to melt the wax that's pretty much it. The little deer that it's on is a wax seal furnace and when I'm doing all one color, I like to come in when it's about here and stir it to try to make it one texture. Now that our wax is a nice consistency, I've prepped this envelope with some parchment paper and some binder clips to help keep the envelope flap down. Pouring the melted wax onto where I want the seal. You can really put them anywhere, but I'm trying to get mine a little more central. this as a difficulty level three because once you put it on the envelope or envelope it's there so you can see that top part I'm not completely happy with so if you stay till the end of the video I will show you a bonus on how you can fix that as you can see with the parchment paper removed you can open and close easily so you can load up all those goodies in there Now we're gonna move to pre-making the wax seals. And again, as long as you have the spoon, the tea candle, and the optional furnace, before you color or create on these, if you're not happy with how it turns out, you can actually cut it down and remelt it and start over. So that's one reason I really like to pre-make my wax seals. We're making the third and final wax seal here and I just wanted to take a moment to remind everybody to be very careful if you decide to use a tea candle with an open flame. There are other ways to melt sealing wax if you feel uncomfortable or are unable to use an open flame. There are many ways to make the designs on your wax seals stand out. One of the most accessible and quickest ways is a handy dandy metallic sharpie. I prefer to use these because they're quick and easy. They do bleed a little bit, but they're accessible and easy to find and use. Now that we have our wax seals ready, here's the second way to seal an envelope. And again, we have the parchment paper here and you can use any kind of glue. If you're trying to send it in the mail, I recommend something stronger like a Gorilla Glue. If you're hand delivering or just crafting, tacky glue is fine. I chose Gorilla Glue for science and you can either put it on the envelope or envelope itself or you can put it on the wax seal. I choose today to put it directly onto the paper because I'm probably not gonna be mailing this anywhere on its own. I like to try to slide it around a little bit, kind of spread out the glue, and I didn't put a giant glue dot because I don't want it to leak over the ends too much and 
glue to that parchment or wax paper. That's more to protect it bleeding through the paper in the back. So you can see I can slide that paper around a little bit. The third and easiest way to seal with a pre-made seal is a glue dot. You can get these in different strengths and all you do is find your little glue dot, put it onto the paper or again, you can put it onto the seal. I choose to put it onto the paper so that I can place the seal where I want it on the envelope or envelope. This is definitely the quickest and easiest way to use a pre-made wax seal. I put this as a level one difficulty because if you have the seals already and you didn't have to make them yourself, this would be so quick and easy, especially for crafting, journaling, and scrapbooking. I don't recommend sending this straight through the mail like this. I would use something stronger or seal directly on the paper itself. Thank you for sticking around. You made it to the bonus video. So this is the first one that we did. I don't really like the top. So what I did is I'm gonna take the leftover wax and I have a little surprise. It's a tiny wax seal. You can do a double wax seal just to make it a little extra fancy or to use up your extra wax. And here's the reveal. After this, I'm just gonna embellish it a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below on how you pronounce envelope or envelope. I was just trying to please everybody, so I wasn't sure which way to say it. Thank you. Thank you.